Mm -hmm. Well, hello. I know it's been a long time, you guys, right? The last time you guys saw me was during my cleanse. Um, I'm back. I want to talk about today, you guys, if you saw it in the title, if you're employee. So basically, if you have a job, you're employee, meaning you work at, and you guys know I work at a grocery store. If you didn't, you now know. So if you work at a grocery store, if you work at a retail um, clothing store, Victoria's Secret, for example, if you work at Burger King, if you work at Macy's, if you work at Dillard's, if you work at the local car dealership, wherever you work, obviously you are employed. And what I want to talk, uh, talk about today is literally maybe about a month, month and a half ago, I had a moment and you guys know I have moments. And um, I said, wow, if you're an employee, why can't you be a business owner? So all the skills, for example, so I'm going to give you my skills. So I've been working in the retail industry for, I think, um, I think um, in April I had my 24th, 25th year, I don't know, something like that, right? So I'm 42, about to be 43, and I've literally been working since I was 16 years old. Um, I've been in the grocery industry since 19, I was going to say 96, that's when I graduated from high school, since 19... I can't remember I was 18 I was 18 when I started in the grocery industry I'll let you guys do the math because it's hot out here I'm losing my mind already um, I have done I have been a manager I have done tags I have done overnight stocking I have done ordering I have been a bookkeeper like a uh, like assistant bookkeeper I have definitely been a cashier that's my main job I've been a cashier um, I've done a little bit of everything and with all those skill sets think about it so I said I was a manager. Uh, what comes under the manager? So if you've been a manager anywhere, you're literally running somebody else's business. Let me repeat that. If you are a manager, assistant manager, front end manager, supervisor, whatever, however you want to say it, you literally have been running somebody else's business. So all that skill set that you have, uh, balancing the books, bringing the cash out, making sure the front end of the store, whether it be retail, Victoria's Secret, a shoe store, uh, you work in a restaurant, if you're, if you're making sure something is running smoothly, you can take those skills and literally transfer it over to your own job. So let me tell you what happened basically through everything. So it's July, uh, we've all been going through the, these interesting times. And when I was doing my cleanse, the 30 days from May 15th to June 15th, literally the fourth or fifth day, I just had a, a like, a light went off. And I said, what are you waiting for, Aisha? And what also did it for me is, uh, there's a young lady on YouTube, her name's uh, The Fine Guru. I discovered her a while back. Super cute girl, she has her own boutique. Big shout out to all the boutique owners, the lip gloss girls. Angela, what's up? All the uh, shea butter girls, I'm talking about the people that are selling lashes. What a beautiful industry to be in. Um, let me back up a little bit. So this girl, the fine guru, did a video and she uh, put in her video, B. Simone and a girl that owns Moon Cosmetics. Now each one of them did very well. I do believe it was a month of May. One girl made a half a million dollars. Let me repeat that again. One girl made a half a million dollars, which I do believe was B. Simone. And the other young lady, forgive me, her name escapes me, but she's the owner, uh, the CEO of Moon Cosmetics. She's 20. Don't quote me. I think she's under 21. She's 20. Um, did, uh, made this whole beautiful company. Um, and she's been thriving. And literally, if I'm not mistaken, it was May 5th or whenever Mother's Day was, she had a sale. And she made one, let me, I need you guys all to sit down, $1.1 million in eight minutes. Let me repeat that. During this interesting times that we're going through, she made $1.1 million in eight minutes. And that was my moment to be like, um, <laughs> if she can do it, I can do it. Because if you really think about business wise, okay, so I'm considered an essential worker. I work at a grocery store. Others have lost their jobs. Um, some people have not, but yet we're still making the same money. Do you get what I'm saying? We're still running these businesses that are making millions and billions of dollars and we're still capped at our same pay. So I thought to myself, 
I need to launch a business. And what I mean by launch, you guys know me if you're like my day ones, you guys know what I do. I hustle, I flip, you know, I can make $1,000, $2,000 in one day flipping merchandise. Um, I did have a presence, uh, I still do, with eBay, Poshmark, Macari, I have stores. But um, I love cutting out the middleman. So with that being said, I watched, I've been watching, and one day I just woke up and said, and I did, you can do it yourself, but I actually had somebody um, through my CPA's office um, put together all my paperwork for my LLC, my EIN number, all my licenses, so I, my reseller's license, so I'm totally, you could say, legit. Because really the name of the game, if you really look at, especially just going into 2020, the name of the game is actually you have to you have to be playing to be in the game and with all the knowledge that I have accumulated since 2008 so when the market first went through I had to find out what was going on I started reading all these books I started doing all this research I just started studying globally and there is a game being played and a lot of us are not playing the game because we don't know the rules and what I mean by the rules is okay so I can flip all day that's fine but I can go ahead and open up a business legitly meaning um, a LLC and start <laughs> Let me give you a little tidbit, Jims, writing stuff off. So if I have a business, I have business expenses. With that being said, I can write certain things off. And what I think a lot of people um, that I'm here right now, and I'm just going to go on just a small tangent, a lot of people are mad at the rich or the wealthy or whatever the case may, may be saying, hey, uh, for example, and I'm going to say a trigger word, Trump, for example, he's not showing his tax refunds or he's not showing how, how he's doing his taxes. And I find that very interesting for the simple fact that I was watching another video, big shout out to uh, Lynn Richardson, what a smart woman, what a savvy business boss lady she is. And she made a point, and this was a very, uh, fairly recent video. She made a comment. She goes, the reason why probably President Trump is not releasing his tax refunds, it would be a blueprint. So let me repeat that again, because I've said in the past, YouTube, these social media outlets and whatnot, watching someone's Instagram, it's nothing if you don't follow through with it. And like, if you want to start a business or, you know, follow in their footsteps or, what, or do something, right, of, um, important something that you want to pursue so let me repeat that again she said the reason why he probably isn't releasing his tax refunds what he did in taxes because it would be a blueprint the name of the game is to play the game but know the rules of the game if you don't know the rules of the game you cannot play so i said i've been playing but i haven't been playing correctly so the end of this month i will be launching my company what direction now like i said if you're my day ones you have been following me and i said in the beginning of the year that i wanted to take this youtube channel in a different direction we're in a different direction what is the, di uh, the different direction business all i want to talk about is business i don't want to talk about um uh forgive me I will occasionally you know throw little tidbits in because you know I go on tangents and I ramble and whatnot but they're all gems and they all kind of are kind of put together but with that being said I just want to talk about business are you starting a business how did you start it um, how do you pay yourself so I've been checking into that so when you start a business at LLC how often do you pay yourself uh, how do you set a, uh, your profit to the side do you put the majority of your money back into the business? Should you do that? Of course you should. Um, just different things that people might be asked, questions might, questions that people might be asking just to get started. So this is my journey. You guys are gonna watch me and I'm gonna do the launch on YouTube. Um, big shout out to me, uh, the business owner of Girly Poo. It's all mine, it's trademark, the whole nine. So I wanna talk about trade. And I'm not, uh, by me, by me any means, I'm not an expert, but I have been studying and you guys can walk with me and follow my journey as I launch this business. I get out there, I start networking more. Uh, you'll meet people that I'm working with and their businesses and whatnot. Hopefully I can get people on and interview them. But um, yeah, I'm super excited. And I said um, to myself, as I got started, literally the person I was working with, she set up all my stuff. And actually it's a husband and wife team. They do, uh, they have their own businesses, but they also do taxes. They do everything, which is very smart in these times because some people flourished during the shutdowns. And if there is another, and I, I kind of want to leave you guys with this. If there is another shutdown, 
what are you going to do for income? I just think about all the people that were laid off and I felt bad, but you know, while they were getting that unemployment and plus that extra money, oh my God, that's the biggest B I've ever seen. Oh my God. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> literally, um, wouldn't that have been a great time to get online and uh, maybe do a couple courses, get a certificate, uh, get certified in something, learn coding, learn how to build a website. Because as I was doing this journey, I was looking for people like this and I, I did find them eventually, but um, to build my business, labels, uh, marketing, it's like all these people that have these particular skill sets did very well their business did not stop. And that's where I want to be because moving forward, I'm the type of person, I don't want to know what's happening down the street. And I've said this before on my YouTube channel, down the street, I need to know what's happening around the corner. So I'm always looking ahead, but around the corner. And with that being said, I see that business owners, okay, and let me choose my words very carefully. Small business is really taking a hit right now. Small businesses certain small businesses. I'm going to say a lot of brick and mortars. Could you imagine if you were online, meaning be Simone, I'm just throwing out a few people, all these people that have their boutique businesses. So as women, we still want to feel beautiful. We want to still get our eyebrows done. We still want to do the lashes. We still want to do the hair. We want to do our nails and whatnot, correct? We want to buy, you know, nice jewelry and have clothes. So all these online boutiques, clothing, nails, uh, beauty, uh, items whatnot for your face did very well and what I mean by very be Simone what does she do she does lip gloss and I think various other things five hundred thousand dollars a half a million dollars in like less than one day she had just a big spike because people and I'm t and when I go off on tangents like this hopefully I'm, I'm bringing you value you're getting some gems I'm dropping gems and hopefully you get it even if you don't and you see this movie six or movie it's a movie. If you see this video like six months from now, at least maybe it might click in your head like now I see what she's saying. You know what I'm saying? It might not register now, but it might register later. So with that being said, um, like the, for example, the young lady that also did $1.1 million in eight minutes. Moon Com Cosmetics. Amazing. How many people make a million dollars in one year? Not many, but she did. And um, she had to scale her business very fast. And the next video I do, um, I want to talk a little bit about the supply chain. I've said it, I've been saying it before in the beginning of the year when this first um, interesting times we're living in started. And I did several videos. I've talked to only a few people about it. Watch the supply chain, and that's the I don't know the. Um, I don't I want to say analysts or whatever because I analyze a lot of stuff I like to read and whatnot and I'm starting to see like certain trends and I'm like okay I see that coming down the road so I need to prepare it in this way so um, the next video I do I want to talk about the supply chain again I think I did those videos it was sit down Sundays you guys and maybe I got 50 views 40 views whatever the case may be and that's fine but we're gonna revisit that because coming up like I said if uh, so for example uh, our governor talked last night and he decided that he's going to uh, shut certain things down again so we're kind of going backwards and cases are spiking but whatever the case may be right so with that being said so if we go backwards meaning if we start shutting things down again where are people going to be led to they're going to what's going to be open we're going to have the targets open of course the grocery stores are going to be open right um target walmart and what else amazon will definitely be open for all of our shopping needs so why can't you be a mini amazon do you get what i'm saying cut out the middleman so for example I do eBay for me and I haven't put much effort into it forgive me but for me I have not had any sales I haven't tried I've been uh, busy doing this launch trying to put girly poo together products uh, marketing just getting it out there later on this month with that being said <coughs> excuse me um, I haven't been focusing but all these fees 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 so shipping of course um you know the fee the, your monthly installment if you promote it then uh ebay takes i think it's 13 percent right off the top i'm all about cutting out a middleman and i'm really gonna stress to you guys brick and mortar in my opinion is dead it's dead brick and mortar versus certain industries okay but the majority when it comes to retail uh dead Brick and mortar versus click and order. 
how much money did Amazon make through this whole pandemic? I remember uh, in March numbers for the grocery stores. Um, it was put out. I read this article that they had made all their profit for 20. And let me repeat this because I think I've said before in one of my videos, the grocery stores have made all their profit in March, March 15th for the whole 2020. So anything past March 15th is just bread and butter and sprinkles on top with a big old cherry. And here I am, an employee, getting the same wage day after day. If I work eight hours, I'm getting paid for eight hours versus they're getting paid by click. They're getting paid by the second. So that's what I need to do, basically get online, e-commerce, have my own website. I have decided to go with Shopify, Shopify and set up my own website. And of course it is work, everything is work. But while you're working at your job and building somebody else's business and making them potentially hundreds of thousands, millions or billions of dollars, depending what kind of company you work for, you could be driving and taking your skill set and put it into your own business. Especially if you work retail, big shout out to all my retail workers, you guys. Now I won't keep you too much longer. If you work retail, one of my favorite stores opened up, and I know they're going uh, falling for bankruptcy. Uh, Learners of New York, they used to be called Learners, but New York, New York. I like it because their pants, they have taller sizes, and when I used to wear suits and blazers and uh, like uh, business attire, it fit my body. With that being said, they just opened, they've been open like four or five days, and here we are talking about closing Vegas down, our state down again. So these people have been out of work comfortably for three months, maybe for almost four months, give or take, just got back to work five, five days ago, and now they might be shutting it down again. And plus, I've been following this company because I've been wearing their clothing since I was a little girl, but shout out to my mom. She used to buy my clothing back, uh, back in California there. Uh, <laughs> big shout out to mom so she used to keep me in that kind of clothing and then just through the years I've just constantly always would buy my pants my uh, button-up tops uh, blouses and stuff like that from there and they have slowly been going down and they've been talking about bankruptcy restructuring for a while now so with that being said <laughs> if you work in retail you see what's pop so if you want to do an online boutique store you see what's popping you know what the latest colors are for each season are going to be in advance because when the product comes in especially if you process in the back if you process in the back you're saying oh this is cute and then all of a sudden you see this beautiful flower print at your store right of course you're going to get a little bit earlier and then all of a sudden it's popping in all the stores you see the trends that are gonna happen do you get what I'm saying so if you are an employee which everybody is if you work inside of a business especially if you're an assistant manager supervisor front end manager you are running somebody else's business you can take all that skill set find out what you're good at launch a business and take that skill set as elsewhere now I'm not saying quit your job because I just had a moment the other week where I was gonna walk away from my job and I'll be honest with you. But I kinda uh, watched another video and it was like it was made for me, which it wasn't. And then I said, I should pull it together. You have not even launched your business. All your ducks are in a row. You cannot leave your job right now. So I will keep this job, work your other job while you build your build business. And as it starts to take off, and you feel comfortable and you have maybe six months worth of um, rent, mortgage, you know, bills, all the stuff that you, uh, you know, accum or you accumulate through um, the month, a nice little nest egg, and then you can walk away from your job if you feel comfortable. But click and mortar versus brick and mortar, I do believe brick and mortar is dead. And just in the last couple weeks, how many business have filed for bankruptcy? And believe me, there's gonna be a lot more. So I said a lot in this video, but I really wanted to focus on, if you are an employee, you can definitely be a business owner. And what a great time to be a business owner. You might not think so, but mark my words, keep watching this journey. It's a great time to be a business owner, great time. Not certain, certain industries, not so much. But for the most part, it's amazing time to start a business. Amazing. And if you do your research, the, and you know the rules of the game and how to play it, um, it can be an excellent time. So if you had a business and these grants and loans that they were giving out, you know, if you were a small business owner, if you were able to get in there, you basically got free money. That's just one example. With that being said, I'm going to leave you because this is almost a 20 minute video and I, you guys know I like to ramble, but watch this journey. You guys, I am back officially. Hopefully I can give you guys more video, more content, boom, 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 boom. And hopefully I can invite people on that are actually starting their own businesses and you can watch their journeys also. All right, you guys, big shout out to everybody. It's me, Aisha, your it girl, AKA CEO 
of Girly Poo. <laughs> That's the name of my brand. Um, hopefully, I can see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.